I just had my first shower in 10 days. Dream team, stick together and make history. Golden Wonderland. Before you judge, remember, I have not had running water. I mean, obviously I did a little. But oh my gosh, a fresh full body shower felt so great. I'm all packed, headed back to my house. After 12 or 13 days, I still don't have water at my house, but I need to get back to some sense of normalcy. They think it'll be back by end of day. The carport, and these are all the trees that broke that need to be cleared by landscapers. I just made it home for the first time in forever. I just brought everything in. This poor guy's not doing that well. A little droopy, but I think a little water will fix that. The rest of the plants did fine in the cold. Luckily, pothos are like super strong. The snake plant was good too. I just need to go around and plug everything back in because everything's unplugged right now and get my water set up. I still don't have water here, but I do have a gallon that I had saved a while ago in there, in the laundry cabinet, so that I can, um, oh, there's probably like mold in that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna clean that out whenever we get water, which is not now. <laughs> so I do have a gallon of water in there that I can use to flush the toilet. And yeah, let's just get it out of the way. I look a little rough. I understand, I haven't even washed my face today. I'm gonna do that in a second. I have some bottled water I can use, well, the big five gallon <laughs> bottles of water. I wanna show you what my fridge looks like. Um, when I went to the store, there was like nothing there. No eggs, no vegetables, like completely like bare basically. They had a couple cucumbers, some bananas, and avocados, and that's what I got, and I was having that at my mom's house. Now I need to go to the stores. It's been probably five days since then, and I'm hoping that they have stocked up because it's a little bit bare because the stores were empty, so I came here, raided my cabinet so that me, my mom, my sister, my cousins would have stuff to eat. They did the same. We just all brought together our resources. So no more resources here. Look in this fridge. Yeah. Um, egg whites, a couple Clio bars, some body armor, which we love, and condiments. That's all. And the freezer has non bread, two things of Shashuka starter. Uh, it doesn't like to focus in here, sorry. Uh, some tilapia and some smoked salmon. That's all I have. A major shopping trip is needed. I do have a little bit of stuff in here, but obviously this was all full and it's not full anymore. So um, I just need to go, go, go get some stuff. I'm sweaty, it's hot out there. It's like 89 degrees. Texas totally forgot that it tried to freeze us to death five days ago. Um, and now it's hot as heck. So I just carried all this stuff in. I think I'm gonna put it away as I do the haul so there will be a lot of jump cuts. Get ready for that. So I got two things of almond milk at Trader Joe's. This is the regular unsweetened original almond milk. Back to the refrigerator. <laughs> I go to put this stuff away now. Glad I cleaned out that refrigerator though. I got two bags of Shoshito peppers. This haul is very capsicum heavy, you will notice, and I just noticed. So two things of Shoshitos, a thing of green onion, and some zucchini. Two things of Partake, the birthday cake cookies. I guess they're called sprinkle now. I feel like they used to be called birthday um, before they changed their packaging. So this is the one I got. I really like these on top of my yogurt. They're very good. I did also get some yogurt. Two things of plain non-fat regular schmegular Trader Joe's brand yogurt. And then I got two apples and two bananas that just fell on the floor. Three bananas <laughs> that were on the floor, and then two sumo oranges. They're pretty pricey, so I just bought two of each. So 
So I'm gonna put this stuff in the fridge and I feel like Rachel Ray, you know how she always carries so much stuff and um, put these in the cabinet. This thing doesn't stay closed very well. Okay. I can't clean these yet, so I'm not putting them away. These are just some black grapes from Costco. They were $7.99, I believe. I also bought my two favorite cheeses from Trader Joe's, the organic mozzarella and the light shredded, I think, three cheese blend. Yes. And then I got a thing of brown rice, the frozen one, the one that I love. They didn't have the jasmine rice in stock, so I just picked up this one. And then two things of the spicy Mexican cauliflower rice situation. I got two of those. Two different kinds of smoked fish. I got the pastrami style smoked salmon and then the ahi tuna, which is very good. I also got the organic string cheese and some organic baby carrots because the ones at Costco are just too big, too much. Too much for one person. Perfect. I got a thing of red Argentinian shrimp from Trader Joe's. I also got one from Costco, but this is this one. Trader Joe's was low, so I didn't want to like take a lot. <laughs> I got the scalloped potato chips. These are very good, very strong, like cheesy flavor. And then my favorite organic yellow corn tortilla chip rounds. I love these bad boys. Oh, yum. So more capsicum. I got some sweet mini peppers from Trader Joe's. And I also got one of my favorite breads. It is the sprouted sourdough wheat bread from Trader Joe's. I actually put this in the freezer and I just take out a piece when I need it and that's always been fine for me. Otherwise, it goes back because I don't use it in time. I got some avocados. These were $3.99 for the six of them at Costco. So I'm gonna be having some avocado toast and I got two of these, the Happy Egg Organic. There's our pasture raised if you go to their website they have all the info about it i also got these siete potato chips they're salt and vinegar with a hint of serrano pretty good all right i got a regular thing of sea salt this is just easier to put on my popcorn than the pink like grady one grindy one <laughs> this one's easier i got a thing of the salsa authentica from trader joe's I also got another thing of the lemon sauce that I got last time. This was so, so good on spaghetti squash with shrimp in it. Amazing. And um, Costco didn't have spaghetti squash this time, so I ended up not getting any, obviously. But I can use the zucchini, and I do have one spaghetti squash left. I also got my favorite spicy pepper tomato situation <laughs> sauce i don't know i didn't read it before but this is so good my mom used this for some stuffed bell peppers um while i was at their house and everyone was like what is that sauce it's this it's so good and then i also got one thing of the hot sweet jalapenos as a recommendation from reggie and then i got two of my regular pickled fermented jalapenos which are chef's kiss one go in the fridge one go in the cabinet I got some of these Wild Wonders tomatoes from Costco. I don't, I guess I'll put these in the fridge. I usually put these in like a fruit bowl, but I can't wash anything right now. I got um, some spring mix. They did not have any spinach, which I went to Trader, Trader Joe's first, and if I knew they didn't have spinach at Costco, I would have gotten spinach at Trader Joe's, but I am not psychic, so I did not know. And I really want some kale too which I will probably try to order for my produce box next week. I missed the ordering window. Actually, I didn't miss it. I had stuff in my cart, but I didn't reach the minimum. And then they closed ordering early because they had reached their maximum. And then they canceled my order because I didn't reach the minimum. So I didn't get my kale, I didn't get my broccoli meat, and I didn't get my eggs. That's why I had to buy them at the store. I got two things of um, pickles. Well, one thing, but it's two jars. It's just the classic purely pickles. 
I really like them. They're super crunchy. I got another thing of the wild Argentinian shrimp as well. One in the fridge and one in the cabinet. Primal Kitchen Avocado Mayo. Oh, sometimes this goes bad because the oil like ferments really fast. Well, not ferments, it just like gets hard with the cold. So sometimes it doesn't stay like great for that long, but it's fine. I got this Fair and Safe Birthday Cake Granola. Even though I got the Partake to put on top of my like parfaits that I've been making, this has been stalking me in my Instagram ads like crazy. So I got it. It's pretty high in points, but I can probably break it down and like use less than it says, but it's free from peanuts, tree nuts, no milk, no eggs, no wheat, no soy, no shellfish, no fish, no sesame. So kind of like partake with like no of the, none of the like top allergens, but they do still use like things like maltodextrin. So it's like, are you really that clean or are you just good at marketing? That's why I don't talk about like organic and it's stuff like that on my channel that much. I like, I buy pretty much half and half, but I'm like, it's better to eat capsicum or peppers than that are not organic than to eat none at all. It's better to eat, you know, whatever protein you can afford than not eat any at all. Like I try not to be elitist with food because it's, it's hard in these streets. So more peppers. I told you a pepper kick but I love these air fried they're so good they're like the best side dish and you can like put your like egg. I like to put scrambled eggs inside of them <laughs> like I'll open them up or put my shashuka mm, sorry you know me I like to burp so I got some green beans because I got green beans last time I went shopping and I forgot how much I like green beans so I got them again Ugh, I can't wait until the water comes on so I can clean my grapes because I'm like craving them I want to eat them now I got some goat cheese me and my mom polished off like a whole log and there's like probably this much left and I just left it at her house so I bought two more of those I've been putting it on top of the cucumber with some smoked salmon so good so cucumbers goat cheese and my favorite smoked salmon I haven't gotten this in a long time but I wanted to just go ahead and pick it up since I was doing a big stock up and I literally have nothing in the house so I got some more smoked salmon all right, and that is my Costco slash Trader Joe's slash Sprouts haul because I had to go to Sprouts for eggs because um, I wasn't, in, there were so many broken eggs at Trader Joe's. I've never seen anything like that. And they only had two things in the pasture-raised ones and they were both broken. So the only thing I still need to do is put this away, put these two into a fruit bowl with the bananas and the avocados. What is this? Oh, that was from my spaghetti squash. So, yeah, that, oh, I forgot to show you this. These are just the chosen food uh, avocado oil. I broke my sprayer, unfortunately, <laughs> and my other one is full of sesame oil, so until I have time to clean it out, when I get water back, I got this to spray my food with. So, yeah, that is all. I'm glad I put it away while I was doing the haul, like that, G level shit. I should be doing that all the time because it took so much less time. But anyhow, I will see you guys a little later in this vlog. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I've shattered the bottom of it. Can you tell? Um, I think maybe I pumped too much air into it. So it's all shattered around here or stretched. And then somehow the gasket slid into here. So I'm gonna try to do surgery on it to see if I can fix it. I did buy two of them and then I also have the silver one. So that's that's what happened to my girl. We have water. I'm so happy to be back home. I spilled ice on the floor. Um, I've already made my beauty water for in the morning. I have everything in my fridge from my haul. I have my salad going. Getting ready to jump on a Zoom call. Coffee, beauty water, Chicago candle. 
blanket because I was snuggled up in my chair a little bit ago. I'm making an egg white omelet because the store was out of eggs and I got these, but I have eggs now, but I still need to use these. It's not focused, I know. So I'm gonna use egg whites, I have some goat cheese from Costco, some peppers that I put into the air fryer, and that will be my breakfast today. This is what we're working with. I use the buttery steakhouse seasoning from Kinder's. I feel like I always say it wrong. Um, and I'm gonna put some sriracha in here too. Gosh, it feels so good to be able to like cook my own meals again. So excited. I usually don't really like egg whites, but I'm having a change of heart. I'm watching Adventure Time Louie. I love her. Then I have my omelet and my beauty water. Another like small haul. I got two little drink packets. You guys know I love these. <laughs> my mom texts me to tell me that the hands made Handmaid's Tale is coming back. I got another one of these e.l.f. hydrators. I actually got the color medium deep, which was too dark. So I got tan medium deep to mix them, hopefully. A lot of people said that this is like the It Cosmetic CC Cream, so I'm excited to try that. Um, some Reese's, some of these guys. I haven't had these in years. Did I already say rice? Probably. Some Cajun pasta sauce for my broccoli and for spaghetti squash broccoli. Um, some corn. These are mustard greens. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. <laughs> some kind frozen bars and some limes. I need to put one of these in my beauty water and I also need to use it for like a faux ceviche that I'm making tomorrow. I actually emptied these two this morning, the Cairo and the Zimbabwe, and I just had one of each in my coffee. Hi, vlog fam. I, I'm still in the same vlog. Um, clearly, I have a mess happening back there. We're going to pretend that that's not there. See, it's not there. Um, I moved the living room. <laughs> the rug is outside. What are those spots? You can't even see those in real life, but you can see them on camera. Oh, it's probably where I spilled that freaking energy packet thing. Um, my rug is out here drying in normal fashion. Anytime I dry my rug, it rains. So it rained last night <laughs> and it's wet again. So and it's supposed to rain all week. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I might just bring it in and turn a couple of fans on it so that it can dry in here. But um, everything's kind of disheveled still because I can't put the ottoman slash coffee table until um, the rug is there. Um, that's the sticky thing for the rug. But I, I'm going to roll with it this way for right now. I brought my um, Dreamcatcher out here, which definitely cultural appropriation. I will never buy another Dreamcatcher from a non-native person. And um, my... TV is like over here. It's hard to see because it's backlit right now, but I'll try to come over here. So my TV entertainment center, it's the same one. I just turned it the opposite way because you know it was like sideways before, <laughs> but uh, now it's upward. So that's what it looks like. Same decorations and everything. I don't know what I'm going to do with my yoga stuff yet. Um, I'll probably bring that gray ottoman that's in my office out here and put all of that stuff because that stuff was kind of in the corner before. Um, a couple yoga mats, a bolster, yoga wheels, some resistance bands. Um, so I need to find a place for those to go. Sorry, I'm burping. And yeah, basically. I guess I could put them over here somewhere, but I try not to clutter up this area too much because I do like to be able to see all of the windows, which is why I didn't move like my entertainment center in front of the window to be directly in front of the couch. I left it in the corner over here, which you cannot see because it's dark. Against my better judgment, um, I have placed the rug in the dryer. I know that it's probably a bad idea. <sighs> But I did it anyway. I don't, it's so wet, like wetter than when I put it out there. Um, and I don't want to put it on the floor and for it to get mildewy. So I put it on cold, like the coldest setting. And I'm gonna do that for a little bit and then probably fold it the opposite way and then try to roll it back out and dry it the rest of the way with the fan. So hopefully I don't ruin it. If I do, it was for science. I need to sweep out here and de whatever this stuff is 
get that off too. I have some stuff for it. And I mean, it lasted pretty much a year before it came back with these heavy rains. So I'll probably put that on the list for next week. As you can see, it's pretty dirty out there. To return these to Lululemon, these are some waist beads my mom made for my friend Jessica. So I need to mail these to California. And um, these are just to return. They were pilling in the thighs and they do returns on these. So, and it's not even that bad. I, it's probably fine, but they're gonna replace them, which is why I freaking love Lululemon just cleaned off my mat <laughs> it was so so dirty i just used a mixture of dr bronner's and water and that's what i always use on my mats it's perfect i do submerge them in the bathtub every once in a while but this just needed a quick clean this is my lululemon mat i've probably had it for going on three years and it's still kicking it's still sticky i love it so when I moved the couch, I found my black Birkenstocks, which is great. I had no idea what happened to them. And I'm still using the trick that someone told me in the comments to roll my bread so I didn't have to worry about the liner getting all weird under. It's like slightly wet still. So obviously, Oh, hi, look at my butt. <laughs> so obviously I'll have to still put a fan on it, but I think it got it like dry enough. And it doesn't seem like it shrunk or anything like that. Maybe it's a little wrinkly, but not too bad. Wow. You guys, I keep saying it, but you're so smart. I don't know what I'd be doing without that roll trick. It would be terrible. All right, so I'm gonna put a fan on this in a little bit, and then I'll put the ottoman back later. I think I do like the living room this way. I think it looks nice. I mean, I would probably prefer the chaise on this side, but my old one, you could move it from side to side this one is like a fixed chaise, so it's fine. That's all centered. That looks nice. This, still ignore that part. <laughs> but other than that, I think it looks so good. I love it. This sweet thing perked up. <laughs> Look how perky she is from out here. She's crazy. So, obviously, I did lose a couple of leaves. I'll have to pick this one off, probably. And a couple of these guys didn't fully bounce back, but overall, she's doing well. Last grocery haul of this video, and then everything's pretty stocked up. You guys have to remember I'm going from nothing to filling it up. So, some oranges, because obviously, some double stuff, Gluten-free Oreos. We'll see how these are. Got two things of salmon because I didn't find any that looked good at Costco. Some imitation crab meat. Um, the fit and active bread. These are two points I thought they would be good for breakfast burritos. I got these stuffed shells. They look so yummy. It's six points for two of them. So I thought, okay, that's a pretty decent size little chunk. And then have like a protein and a veggie with it. Then I got these California rolls. Two things of their little mini Oreo ice cream sandwiches. These are like my favorite treat ever. And then I just got some chili flakes and some garlic salt. Some more egg whites because I've, I actually like egg whites. <laughs> I haven't eaten egg whites in so long. Um, some spinach, some spicy onion rings. So basically like the hot Cheetos Funyuns. And that's all I picked up at Aldi. And I'm pretty full up now. I wanted to end this vlog with my face. I know it's been a lot of hauling. I finally feel like good and restocked and it's nice to be home. I love the living room refresh. I'll show you it now that the ottoman and everything is back. I hung up my third plant so all of my plants are hanging. Just feels so good in here and I love it. So um, let me show you this before I end the vlog. Let's turn, let's see if I can do this without giving you a headache. Okay, perfect. So we're all turned around 
and I feel like it looks really nice. I still need to get those Velcro strips you guys told me about to keep this cushion from sliding because this one slid out, so this one is down, but it's fine. I still have plenty of room to teach yoga right here for my yoga videos. I just need to move the ottoman out of the way. We're gonna figure something out for, <laughs> probably not, let's be honest. I love my yoga stuff like in my view so that I use it. The mirror will probably move somewhere else. It just doesn't really match in here because everything else is silver. I may, pa may paint it, I don't know. And then my entertainment system is all switched around. So I do really think that I'm gonna move this dream catcher out of here. I've moved it in here because the blue but the, the brown is not vibing with me right now. So we'll see what I end up doing. But yay, looks good. I also ordered a new vacuum. I love my Dyson for hardwood floors. But I don't feel like it's that great on carpet. <laughs> so I ordered a, like, a bigger version of a vacuum for the carpet. But yeah, that's what... The apartment is looking like right now there's also like i don't know if you guys gauge how huge this living room is sorry my battery died i'm back um that's like a lot of room to work out to just like for my workouts that i like to do on the tv so it opened up a lot more space this way before it was like that way but it was not as much space so anyhow i do plan on never cleaning my room so judge if you must and figuring out something else for in here too. I think I'm gonna get a standing desk. This company keeps reaching out to me about a standing desk and I kind of want it. So maybe later in the year I'll do that. Um, I need to obviously clean in here too. Okay, showing my true colors, gotta go. See you next week.